Hello, everyone. Hello. We have a very special episode today. We are going to be playing the Magic Origins drinking game. Which is similar to the Magic Online drinking game that we played before, but we have new and updated rules. Which I went to Twitter for and asked for. Yeah, okay. So these are crowdsourced rules. Okay, so number one, rule number one, Dennis. Is see a mythic. So if we see a mythic in a pack or, or in, in a game. In a game. We drink. We have shots. Shots of Queen Margot blended scotch whiskey that I brought. Which is from Little. Yeah, it's pretty poor. It's oh, it just doesn't taste good. Second rule a plot is the same as the first rule, but for a foil card of any rarity. Foil or mythic? If we see a foil mythic, do we drink twice? I think so. Okay. Then uh, we win a die roll. You know we have to not take mythics and foils so we can drink less. Nah, it's fine. Okay. We win a die roll. Yeah, that, that's going to happen maximum once per game. Yeah. We win a game. That's going to happen maximum once per game. If we lose a round, that's going to happen drink. three times. Maximum three times per draft. <laughs> um, now, this one's interesting. If a planeswalker name appears, so, so like Nissa's Expedition, or Kithian's Irregulars, or whatever. Yeah, Jace's Coffee. Yeah, all that stuff. <laughs> um, if any of the get them all, collect them all cycle, so yeah. there's a cycle of uncommons that say when this enters the battlefield, or you know, for each other one of these things you control, yada 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 yada. Whenever those are played, we, we drink, drink one. If a second one is played, we drink two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so on and so, so forth. So we try not to draft that deck. Yep. Eight is a strictly worse version of a classic card is played. That's mostly at our discretion and if we can think of the classic card. No, but it's time. like Days Undoing and Honored Hierarch. Yeah. And all that stuff. Yeah. Then... I don't think Honored Hierarch can be considered strictly worse than anything, is it? Then Noble Hierarch. It's not strictly worse ah, than strict, Ah, that's worse. Nine is a, if a creature becomes renowned, ours or our opponents, we do a shot. Okay. And finally, Drink Mastery. Can you explain what Drink Mastery is, so, Davis? This set has Spell Mastery. Which is a new mechanic. That says, when you cast a spell, if there are two or more instances of sorceries in your graveyard, something else happens. Yeah. In this case, whenever you may someone as well join this now. We're gonna cast a spell with Spell Mastery. If yeah. we've already drunk twice that game, we drink we again. We drink again. Okay, so we're in this draft now. We have shots ready to go. This big bottle of whiskey sitting here. I got a backup smaller bottle in my bag. You do? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Please no mythic, please no foil. Foil mythic, here we go. Foil Nissa. That's uh, the prefer. Uh, so what's in the pack? I don't know, it's loading. No mythic. Uh, no, no foil. foil. I don't have foil, no foil. No planeswalker name? No, we're okay. We're safe, and we're taking the Priest of the Blood Rite, by the way. Yeah, sick card. Uh, so basically what that card is, is it's a 5-mana 5-5 five, five flyer that comes with a 2-2 two, two mm-hmm. that can trade. Like, it's interesting because quite often they just don't want to attack with their things because if you can even chump with that, you're getting value because it's not hurting you anymore. And you get left behind a 5-5. Five, five. And The it, real problem is, is if they, like, kill your demon and then they, like, claustrophobia this. That's the nightmare that's, scenario. But I mean, yeah, that's... But, you, like, it, it plays well in the Black Blue with something like Separatist Void Mage. Or Disperse, yep. Yeah, you can kind of bounce your own guy and get some value that way. Other considerations in the pack. I mean, Celestial Flare is a good card, but it's committing heavily to white early on, and white's quite heavily drafted in this format because it's just kind Read of the, the Bones color. is probably pretty high up there as well, I think. Yeah, no, we're nef- definitely not wheeling that. Rabid Bloodsucker is a very aggressive card and not a very good one. But Priest of Blood Rest is just a bomb, right? Yeah, the Fire Fiend Elemental, by the way, is very strong. Okay. Format three two haste renown. That's really strong. So no okay. mythic. I don't see a foil. Oh, we got a Nissa's pilgrimage. pilgrimage. Here we go. Huh. Mm. Uh, okay, I'll click. You pour. Okay, that's not good stuff. No. So we've taken a black card. So I mean, we were considering first picking read the bones. I think that's got to be the pick, right? We don't want orbs of warding. That is a strictly worse witchbane orb. It's not strictly worse. Oh, she. The second ability. Oh, it's super relevant. You side uh, in Wishbane Orb in Legacy against uh, I'm drinking some beer Storm, and that blanks both tendrils and empty the words. Okay. But yeah, we can take a drink of beer, sure. I think we... Oh, that. I filled those shots too much. You really filled those shots well, too much. Okay, we can we do them in halves. Uh, Fairy Miscrimmage, that's to collect them all, isn't it? It's not in play, though. The effect oh, hasn't okay. Happened, like. okay, okay. I like these rules a little more now. <laughs> I think we should take Read the Bones, right? I'm pretty happy with that. Sure. Do we lean towards um, maybe alcohol-themed cards in any way? Like the Alchemist Vial? That's what I'm sure. think of. Could have taken the Artifact guy that pumps artifacts. That would have been reasonable as well. Ember Maw Hellion is a very strong card. Is it a Mythic? No, it's not. But that is a nutso card, by the way. I don't know how that's not gone. 5-4-5. Five 5-4-5 five. Five Trample. I'm in. Um, yeah. Did we just take that? Now, what else have we got? we got Touch of Moon Glove, which is just really bad. I mean, well, it's Touch of Moon Glove's bad, so we're not taking a black card. So after that, the color considerations... Go out the window, so yeah. So the strongest card. Uh, the strongest... I mean, Fire Impulse is... How is Ember Mahalian and Fiery Hump Impulse both still in the pack? How does, how does that... This depicts Chandra, and I don't think this counts. No. It's got to be the named cards, right? It does have Spell Mastery, though. If it but, gets resolved, then we're cooking. Uh, Ember Maw versus Fire Impulse. What do you think of that? I mean, Fire Impulse is very strong in this format simply because you can answer early renowned creatures and prevent shots. 
I th- <laughs> I think this is definitely the pick, though. I think it has to be. And we try and pick up red sources? I don't know. Just red cards. It's just I mean, a 5 and a 4-5 is already fine. Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay, do we have a foil? No. Do we have a... Kithian's tactics. Uh, and here we go. Okay, take it easy on this, Dennis. Oh, okay. Oh, you did, you actually did take half of it. I oh, okay, that. all right, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> so the last time we did this, what ended up happening was, by by round three, mm-hmm. we'd both entirely forgotten what the rules were, and we're just yelling drink at random moments. Did you just take the Undead Servant? It's not amazing, but there's not I mean, else. there's nothing super wrong with a 4-mana 3-2. No, and I'm not Necromantic summons isn't good. Blightcaster, you don't want to pick up early. No, you don't you want wanna, it to be the only thing that you want to already have enchantments and then pick it Thornbow up. Thornbow Archer is just bad. Gather the pack is just bad. Tainted yeah. Remedies pretty much unplayable. None of these other Water Course is probably like the best card in the pack, honestly. And I don't even like Water Course. I like our Ember Maw Hellion more than our Water Courses. So. so possibly on the Unfortunately, this is one of the collectibles. So, so if we can go in on that, we probably will. And be drinking a lot. Yeah, uh, Veteran Skets Sidearm is. Not enough payoff for a one mana equipment. No. Brawler's Plate is not enough payoff for a four to pilgrimage. Dang it! Get pouring. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, do you talk about the pack while I pour? Okay, I think we have to take either Subterranean Scout or Titan Strength here because I think they're both comparable to any of the other cards in the pack. Maybe like charging different, edging it a little bit. I'm a bigger fan of Titan Strength than I am Subterranean Scout. You think? No, I don't know. I what don't do you think, think so. This is fine. This is pretty good, in fact. Piker with upside. We don't have any. Oh, we have the the, the stupid priest targets that. Oh. We have to drink for the pilgrimage here. No, sorry. That's two Nissa's pilgrimages. Yeah. Fuck you, Nissa. Mm. First one's definitely wheeling as well. That doesn't count, right? If it wheels? I don't know, Dennis. You made the rules. I don't think it counts if it wheels. I think because we're, we're seeing the same <laughs> one twice at that point. You know? At this point, now we have had four shots each. Like, yeah, this is. Have I have I lost the ability to count? Um, oh. Pickleboar. Probably right. I don't know. What do you think of that card? It's just solid. Um, I don't. I don't mind bonded constant. We have actually, two five drops already. Is Pricklebore? Does that make Pricklebore worse? It certainly does. But I don't think it makes it worse than any of the other cards. The only card I consider is Bonded Construct, and Pricklebore is better enough that I think we just take Bonded Construct. Is just really. Bad. I'm actually going to turn the um, foil animations on so we can see them better. Okay, I like. I like this plan. <sighs> cool. Uh, yeah, Pricklebore. We haven't seen a foil yet. That's, that's no. good news. We could have missed it. A Crow and Sergeant's pretty good. Revenant's yeah. pretty good too. I don't. I don't like Revenant at all. Really? Yeah, I think. I, don't like I think a Crow and Sergeant is definitely the pick over Revenant. I think Return Centaur is probably the pick over Revenant as well. Okay. Uh, Sergeant's rock solid though. Yeah. I like that quite a bit. Majoring Network Majoring probably not. Bully though, totally fine. It's okay. It runs into their stuff a lot. This, we already saw this one, right? No, this is the No, this one. is... Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, this is only had some mix. God damn it, Nissa. <laughs> Free for a Nissa. Oh my god, you're going to have to start pouring smaller shots. I kind of was. Mm. I guess we just take this, right? We don't have any way to... Oh, we have read the bones. Perfect. Listen, it's, just a, it's not the end of the world ever, really. Plus, there's nothing else in the bag that's worth even considering. Uh, Rabbit Bloodsucker is the only thing I'd even look it's at. It's another five drop, though. Firefiend Elemental is a great Oh, card. look, the Nissus Pilgrimage is gone! But yeah, how is how, who took a Nissus Pilgrimage over a Firefiend Elemental? I don't know, this card's pretty good. Oh no, Nissus Pilgrimage is in the next pack, I'm lying. It's gonna still be here. No, it's not. <laughs> this was the pack... What do you think of Scarring? Yeah, I think it's okay. I think, I think it gets better it. if you have evasive creatures. I think we could take it, though. I don't which want we kind of don't. I don't think I want this Rapid Bloodsucker. I think I can take this and put it on the board. For well, how, how aggressive do you think we are at this particular point in time? Well, not very. The Majoring Bully and the Crow and Sarge and this... There's some actually... synergy with the Subterranean Scout and other red creatures at the moment. This as well. That works. Wow, well, kind of. Makes them deal with a little, little extra damage. I don't love them. Infernal Scarring. I'm going to put it on the board for now, I think. Such a, uh, I guess, Guardian Automaton. Totally yeah. It's not pl- it's not good, but it, you, you might have to play it. Graspel oh. Hiromancer is a very good card, by the way. Uh, it's not oh, very good, it's fine. Um, I guess we take the summons just in case something funky happens. Yeah, I don't think there's ever a point where we play it, though. No. <laughs> Dennis, I feel like having beer just to wash down those... Get the taste out of my mouth. Like. That's a dangerous road to go down. Yeah. All right, here we go. Foil Planeswalker. <sighs> well, I'm pretty happy. It's like probably a couple... Couple ticks. Couple ticks. The magic online economy has gotten to the point where it's probably worth like less than a Twix. That's true. For Twix those Twix. who, <laughs> yeah. Hallowed Moonlight's no good. It's a cool card, but it's not what we're taking. I don't see a foil. Thopter engineer. I don't see a foil. Okay. I also don't. Well, so we could take another undead servant. That'd be our second. Right. We could take a shambling ghoul. Oh, it's probably just lightning javelin, isn't it? Is lightning javelin or is the thopter engineer? Well, we don't have any removal right now, so I feel like it's lightning javelin. You think? 
Just because we need the removal. I don't. I don't hate that at all. I could. I could see. Oh, Shadows of the Past is kind of a cool card. Yeah, but I don't think it's cool enough. So the options for me at the moment are Lightning Javelin versus Undead Servant. We. I think we could wield the Undead Servant. To be honest, is this worth anything? I doubt it. Okay. I like Javelin better. <laughs> Oh my god. Enthralling Victor is kind of cool. My favorite legendary creature. Victor? Yep. Do we um, have. Oh, Chandra's Fury. Oh, yeah, there she is. Okay. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. That's not fun. Victor's pretty good. I might just take Victor. Victor's okay. He's fine. He doesn't play as well as he reads. No, but he's fine with. Like, he's, got, he's okay with all the other cards and stuff. Oh my god. You alright? Yeah. It's either that or the Titan Strength. Um, yeah, it's not the Chandra's Fury. Oh, wait, no, Chandra Fury with Embermaw Hellion. That's pretty insane. Sick well, synergy. I think we're wheeling this, anyway. Yeah, so. so I guess we take Victor. Victor's totes fine. Totes my goat's fine. Call of the Full Moon. Uh, that's kind of a sweet design, flavor-wise, but it doesn't really do anything. I think I would we like another, read the bones. Uh, a second read of the bones or a uh, second elemental? Probably second elemental. Elemental's really strong. I think I'd rather upgrade this Guardian Automaton to an elemental than take a second read of the bones. Sure. <sighs> you all right? Mm -hmm. No walkers here, no? Have we really not seen any foils? Have, I don't know how rare foils are. Time to really quite. Ugh, I have to pour these. This is not going to last. Oh, I gave you way too much. Yeah, myself a bit the more. solution is pour. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mm. Go for Sentinel or Bonded Construct. I mean, I neither. Another, I don't want another Brickle Boar. I don't want Mako We don't have any Brickle Oh, we do have Brickle Boar. Brickle Ball synergy with it. This card's okay. It still blocks fine. I don't think that's what this deck wants to do, though. No, but I, I don't think this is either, so... I think this is closer to what it wants to do. Um... Sure, I don't want to play it. I don't mind it at all. I played it in the pre-release, and it was totally fine. Now, it's not, it's not great. I'm not going to pretend it's great. But Dark Petition. No, it's just bad. That's strictly it's, worse than... Um, it is strictly worse than DT. Yeah. Let me pour them up. I think you can have a beer for that one if you want. Thank you. <laughs> we have did it, that. Drink. Do you, do you like Shambling Ghoul? Mmm! I don't hate a shambling ghoul like whatsoever. That, actually. that does not mix well with beer. It tastes like hazelnuts and disappointment. <laughs> Gideon's tactics. <laughs> no, wait, I haven't finished pouring your shot yet. Oh, there's some in there, I don't know. Okay, um, let's do this. Gideon. Here we go. Huh. <laughs> Evolving Wild. Yeah, almost certainly right. <laughs> oh. Oh. I remember you said to me, I'm glad the rules aren't as difficult this time. There's too many planeswalker names. That's the real killer, isn't it? And Unless that one's hurting us bad. And we had beer last time. And so few of the Planeswalker named cards are playable, which means they come around a lot. Second Shamblin go, I'm pretty happy with, I think. That's pretty good. Yeah. What else we got? Infernal Scarring, no. Separatist Void Mage, I wish we'd gone black blue, because I want that 6 6 synergy with Priest of the Blood Right. 15 plus 6 is 21, this makes 22, so there's one more pack. Blazing Hellhound. I like Blazing Hellhound, especially with Victor. Ooh, yes. And with the priest. Yes. I was looking at this, but this is probably just better, right? There is some synergy there as well, but I think the Hellhound's what we want. Get out of here, Automaton, then. Third ghoul or undead servant? I'm leaning towards the undead servant. Are you? Because I think we have a lot of enough of Are we glutted on the four drops? I think we can just cut the undead servant and rather have a shambling ghoul. A 3-2 and a 2-3 are pretty equivalent bodies. Um, Shadows of the Past. What do you think of Shadows of the Past? I don't like it. Have you have you ever played with it? No, I think LSV played. I didn't like. I've, it. I've heard I've heard people say, uh, well, the only thing I've heard LSV say about it was that it was sick in two HG. Yeah, well, that's because no it makes them lose four life. I think I just take Shambling Ghoul here. Better than a Majoring Bully, right? Oh, we ran out of time, but better than a Majoring Bully, right? Uh, probably. Although a Majoring Bully and the Ember Maw Hellion. Oh, whatever, like. I guess take the Night Snare for like this seven makes, drops. This we makes can't this beat. Deal too. <clears throat> that is true. That's that's cool. You can sack a creature to shock something. That's strong. Wow. That shouldn't wield. I'll take that. Do you want to finish that word? That that's... shouldn't wield. I don't want another one of these. I so. think we take the Macabre Waltz. Macabre Waltz, I think I find it is. Touch of Moonglow. Why are you saying things like that? Listen, we've already drank like oh, almost half that bottle of whiskey. No, no, we're because you got to remember the neck is. Oh sure. Yeah, so I'd say we've 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 drank you know just quite a bit of whiskey. In like eight minutes, though, that's the real problem. Yeah, I wasn't planning to get this drunk this quickly. It's your birthday! Ha happy birthday, Oshin! Happy birthday, me! It was my birthday on Ooh. Wednesday. I'm twenty now. But we're filming this before your birthday bash. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is the pre dress. Imagine 20, I'm 22. It's not pretty, we're not going anywhere, are we? Rin Wingmare, no good. Act of Treason with Blazing Hell. I think we've dodged the bullet on this one. Yeah. Okay, so options we have Volcanic Rambler is a very strong card. It's okay. Synergy wise, I feel like Active Treason is what we want. Well, I don't know. This interests with the Hellion. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> um, but what do you think of Active Treason? I mean, we only have the one sack outlet, but you can pick up what's it called? Both Nantu- Vampire? Nantu- or Nantu- Nantuko, Nantuko Husk. Husk. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, we would love a Nantuko Husk, actually. I think I might take this in case we pick up one of those. I like the Red Black Steal Your Guy Sack It deck. I don't think it's as much of a thing in this set as it was before. But, uh, do you see anything? No. No, we got away with it. But also, Boggart Brute, I believe. Yeah, 100%. Not even cute. Throwing Knife is so cool, though. It's cute, isn't it? It's so cool. Will you be my girl? Chandra. <laughs> Fuck you, Chandra. Anything else? That could be two. No, just Chandra. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Fire Veen Elemental? I'm sorry? Fire Veen Elemental? I didn't hear quite what you said. What do you think of Consecrated Blood? I don't love it. Consecrated by Blood. Our deck's also kind of lighter on black, and I don't really love this. I think <clears> I'd rather <throat> have one of these. I know we that we're getting heavy on four drops, but I think I'd rather have this. Okay. I don't think it's better than Victor or the Blazing Hellhound. It's probably equivalent with Victor. Another Root. Uh, Dragon Fodder? Dragon Fodder. Maybe? We have a lot of two drops. So and like- we have Blazing Hellhound, and we have... Just Blazing Hellhound? Uh, Empermaw Hellion. Well, Bogger Brute works almost as well with it as... Well, well no, because Dragonfighter will provide two... No, that's it almost as well. I think I'd like the Bogger Brute because it's a three-drop a little more, personally. Like, you think we want to fill out that slot like, in the look, curve? You know? Fill out the slot in the curve. Okay. Do you want that or the Deadbird Shaman? This being red probably edges it out. Yeah. And being slightly better. Probably, right? Second scout? One. Scout or uh, one of these things. Rune Servitor. Oh, I spilled scout. some whiskey on the table. Scout works well with um the the, th- the first striker renown sergeant yeah not so well with the bugger roots but whatever well we well I mean it's already menace we need removal we're not gonna get any no that's happened that's already not happened we don't have any removal we have, we have uh, lightning, lightning javelin, javelin and, and active treason, treason and blazing hellhound second blazing hellhound now you're now cooking. now we're somewhere now we've got victor and act Shoot. and blazing hellhound now you're cooking now we've got a now I, now I wish we had that goblin goblin um. Wow, Dragon fodder. this is hitting me, buddy. Dragon fodder. Another sergeant? I'd love that. Yeah, man. This deck seems pretty good. It's a little bit of a pile in terms of like curve considerations. But if we chuck this down here some percentage of the time... We've got two Read the Bones, man. What could possibly go wrong? You being sarcastic? No. Read the Bones is great. Bellows, Liz! Um, Weight of the Underworld? Oh, I didn't really check that last pack for Planeswalkers. Oh, well, there might have been one. Will we just drink anyway? Yeah, all right. I don't want to disappoint the fans. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just called you guys fans. I'm sorry. You hate that. I, think it's I dumb really hate, hate that. that. Ah! You're filling up the shots again. Now we're halfway. Now we've gone halfway through a bottle. We have, yeah, that's that's 350 milliliters, or for uh, the viewers in the states, two cups. I don't know. Like this is a bottle. That's we like have a, a bottle that's an American of bottle. whiskey. That's like a bottle. And we've drank half a bottle. We, um, a bottle here is what? It's like three and a half fifths. What? You, you know, three and like, a half fifths? I haven't done f- multiplying fractions in a while. <laughs> no, because you know you can get like like a fifth of vodka. Three like and a half that, fifths. Like What's that? That's, that's, what, three and a half fifths would be seven over two times one over five. That'd be seven tenths, wouldn't it? Three and a half fifths. 700 milliliters, which is what that is. Jesus. I'm, I'm a quicken. I let you cast stuff at instant speed. Volcanic Rambler. I think I might rather have this than the Prickleboard, personally. I think I'd rather have it than... Like, it's a really good card. It's, it's just, just a nice sucks. mana sink. Yeah, it's, it's not six amazing. Mana, a 6 mana 6 4 is good. Zender card is a cool, cool I card. I guess we want this for some... No, we never board that in. We just the major board that in. the Mage Ring 7 7 thing? What? The 7 7, the Mage thing. Oh, the big Guardian that yeah. you pay 7 to untap it and it just blows things up with yeah. willy nilly. I really don't want to play that bonded construct. Can, yeah. we, can we kill that? Can we get rid of it? For what? In favor of what? I don't know, like a white card. Uh way to the underworld? Are we that desperate for removal? I think, I think it's just better than bonded construct. Past a bunch of black casters though. I I don't care. Oh Ooh, lads! That caught up to us, Ooh. didn't it? We're gonna see far fewer cards now. What do you mean? 
Like we're not like we're not going to see as many. The planeswalker cards. Work we didn't out. see one foil. No. Or can we drink for that? No. Please stop it. Okay. Um, many mountains. How many? Like eleven. Like loads. Ten. Ten. Seven. Ten seven. What do you think of that? We don't need double black till turn five. All our activation costs are red. I'd rather eleven six. I think. No. No, I think ten seven's fine because we don't have many. We only have one double red card. Right, and it's a five drop as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Look at that curve. We could even go nine eight. We could even go nine eight because of the many two drops. We have we have how many shambling ghouls? Well, three, but we also have two scouts. We're gonna be shambling hard, man. I think I think I want M Night Shambling Goblin. Goblin. All right, we need a break, so we're gonna end this video now. We're gonna. Oh, do we want the evolving wilds? Oh, we definitely want the evolving wilds, Dennis. Over one of the mountains. Get in. That's why we took it. All right, let's do it. <laughs>